Let's start by making a cut where you want the reverb to start and a cut where you want the reverb to end. Delete the rest of the song. Now right click on the section that will receive the reverb. Click Nest and click OK. Double click on this nested section to open the nested sequence. In the project panel, create a black video. Click OK and place this layer in the nested sequence. Extend this layering for at least 20 seconds. Now go back to the main sequence and add the studio reverb effect to the section that will receive the reverb. In the effect controls panel, click edit in the custom setup and increase the decay as much as possible. Now extend the section that has the reverb until it is at least 10 seconds long. And here it looks like this for me. I like the reverb, but I didn't really like the section of the song that I chose. I'm going to open the nested sequence and reduce this part a bit. Now I'm going back to the main sequence to see the result. Now it's much more professional. In the studio reverb settings, you can also change the preset to test other types of echo. I also like the great hall. Don't forget to increase the decay to the maximum. Listen to how it turned out. Pretty cool, right? For more tips like this, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also watch this video that's appearing on the screen. See you later.